I just watched someone take the end of life medication, which is legal in 11 states in the U.S. if you meet criteria. And I work in California where it's legal. And I just watched one of my patients drink medication and then die um, purposely. <laughs> they wanted to. This is what they were choosing. They, ha- they were terminally ill and very, very, very el- elderly. And they were like, enough is enough. I'm out of here. And they wanted to go. And they were so happy to drink that drink. And so happy to fall asleep within a few minutes. And so happy to die a few minutes later. And I'm so grateful that I was able to be a witness for them. And to care for them. And to comfort the family. And comfort the patient. Let them know everything's okay. And it's all normal. All the things that are happening. And uh, I'm just sitting in my car now like, wow. Wow. <laughs> It's profound to see someone like alive and then drink a drink and then die. It is profound. And although it's profound and kind of heavy, somewhat sad, I don't disagree with it. I'm very lucky that I live in a state that does that, that I live, that I work for a company that allows it. And, um, yeah. Yeah.